Hello and welcome, my name is Nilo, and so this is another installment of our, our Angels Mods tutorials. Uh, and this time we are going into bioprocessing mod. Let's have a look overview of the mod. This is it. It doesn't appear so big, but it's actually the most complicated mod as I as I browse through it. And uh, we're going to dive into it. So this is going to be challenging. But let's start with a very simple part. So one of the key points, or not a key point, but one thing that you can do is you can take your ordinary wood that you always have too much of. You can see here one of these have a fuel value of 4 megawatts, so not particularly much. You can now make one of these into 4 uh, cellulose fibers and these will each give one megawatt so not really anything there but the, the cellulose fibers you can squeeze it together into some uh, some wood pellets and there you can see you get 12 and you get two wood pellets each of the wood pellets is worth two four oh, sorry 12 megajoules so you're basically doubling the burn value from here you can also continue making them to wood bricks doesn't get much uh, additional but nonetheless, it, um, it, it, is a, it is a slight improvement. I would stop at this level. Um, now this can also be made into carbon dioxide, which is not an efficient way, in my opinion. Now I will not be uh, going through every single combination here, but I'll go through the main flows of the mod. Now the next part, this is actually a, more of a support thing for the mod. So I think I'll just skip this and come back to it when we need. Now the key point of this mod uh, two parts. There is actually the algae part and there's the artifact mod part. So let's start with the algae part. The algae part, uh, we have green, brown, blue and red and they each generate something different. Now let's start with the the green algae. The green algae comes from mineralized water barrels so you can take the mineralized water that's come from the mineralized water barrels but it comes from mi mineralized water of course. I will, as always, take it into a, a warehouse, unbarrel it, shove it in here. This is a long process, so in this case I've just set up a single one, but I would recommend maybe have like chains of these if you want to be really serious about it. The mineralized water is a product you get a lot of different places. This takes carbon dioxide as well. Carbon dioxide, as you recall, is easy to make. If I can remember where it is, I think it's here. It's just coal that you burn. So very easy. Now this goes over here, the algae, but the algae is being consumed immediately to produce cellulose. You can then say that, hey, if this is just, all of this process is just here to create cellulose, and generally you don't get a lot of mineralized water, and it's certainly not worth making it, then you might as well just use the process up here that takes raw wood into cellulose, and then start from there. Now the part of it is that you will get the cellulose here, the cellulose can then be used together with some sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide and that's creating some cellulose paste. This is the whole point of having the chain. This is what you need cellulose for. You need this for cellulose paste. So keep it in mind, you can see there's a belt going away. We'll come back to that. Now it's, maybe it's, uh, we'll, we'll save the top part here. But remember, we need sodium hydroxide. That's something that's easy to come by. Let's have a look at the next chain here. This starts with saline water, like salt water, and goes in here. Again, it's a long time process. It takes a lot of time. I am not particularly focused on the ratios between them because, yeah, they take so long. So just to shove in some more of them. And they will then, again, make the brown algae. Let's wait. Here we go. Now the brown algae is coming in here. The brown algae is being put in here. And that will actually generate, oh, it's too fast generate lithium chloride it's a that's actually pretty good the only other way of getting lithium chloride is through the lithium water that comes from thermal water so this is a way of not using your thermal water for lithium but instead use your saline water that you can produce ad hoc and it is i will call it free but some will say that it still cause power and pollution that is true but basically you can just pull it out of the ground and then make water into saline water and purified water and you're going to need a lot so that's the green for the cellulose, the brown for the lithium chloride, that's the standalone. And the next one is a bit strange because this is the sulfuric wastewater. And sulfuric wastewater is usually used to produce, we'll just go through the process here. The wastewater goes in here, makes in purified water and some mineralized water, I believe, and then the sulfur. And the sulfur is 
used from this uh, source in order to make uh, to make sulfuric acid. However, in this case, I'm going to use it. I get here. You need carbon dioxide, you need sulfuric wastewater. It goes in, gets into the barrel, uh, and then it gets put in here where it will be crafted into blue cellulose fiber. The blue cellulose fiber is actually being used quite intensively, but also very slowly. Uh, for this process, that generates ammonia. Ammonia gas has a lot of different value or a lot of different uh, uses. One of them is, in this case is actually to feed the next chain. So in this case, all of this one is used to feed, to make ammonia. This is all the blue one does. The blue takes the sulfuric wastewater and makes ammonia. It is quite interesting because the sulfuric wastewater does not lead into ammonia for any reason, in my opinion. They are, it's not the same things. It's not the same formula. When this is sulfuric wastewater, where's the sulfur here? The ammonia does not include, include sulfur. So somehow you can take some sulfur based and make it ammonia based or nitrogen based. That's fine. Now the last one, this is the most complicated one, or the, you would say the most expensive one. See here you need your thermal water. And that means in order for, for really be using this efficiently, since thermal water is something you find out on the map, you really need to be able to use the blue one here, or the brown ones, in order to do the lithium chloride. Because then you can actually shift your thermal water into this process. And you're going to have to do that if you want to continue using the, bi the bioprocessing mod. Now again, this one goes in, you need the ammonia as well. So that's where all of this process, the blue algae goes in and basically just feeds this one. They are keeping up quite well. And over here we have, again, we take the algae, make it into some red cellulose. The red cellulose, can, it can really only be used for one thing and that's making calcium carbonate. Let's have a look here. So you can see they are very specific. The brown one can be used for lithium chloride, which is a high value thing, or it can be made into alginic acid. So what is that? Well, alginic acid is used to make cellulose into wood and board. That is a worthless way of doing it. I mean, this is, this is ridiculous, the rats. So do not use it ever. Just take your normal wood like this one. Why would I make it into wooden board when I can just make it into wood and make that into wooden board? cheaper, better, or just take regular wood. Um, in any case, this one can only be made to calcium carbonate. So we have tons of calcium carbonate. That's all just fine and dandy. Now that's actually the summary of the first part of it. So you basically have the green one can be used into making some various different things, basically mainly the cellulose paste, because we're going to use that. The second one that it needs is actually uh, it can also be used to make uh, methanol gas. Here I would actually recommend just basically any and all trees that you find. You might as well transform them into cellulose because this is actually just four trees. So that's one chop of a tree gives 10 methanol gas. That's very efficient. 10 methanol gas is well on the way to make plastic in some way or another. So very, very nice there. Uh, to have that option as well. So utilize this from cellulose into methanol gas. That's valuable. The brown ones for lithium chloride, that'll free you up your thermal water to make the red ones, which makes calcium carbonate, which we are just dying to figure out what's needed for. The blue one makes ammonium. Well, we are ammonia. We will use that as well. Now, the next part that we will use uh, is actually here. This process, now we go to the lower half of it. The lower half starts with alien spores because the whole point is that we can, from basically nothing, we can create, create alien artifacts. This is a great way of working if you are playing on either peaceful mode or with no aliens at all. So you have a way of creating the artifacts, even all the Bob's artifacts. Now this is uh, done by having a lot of air filters, a lot of air filters, they are very slow and they don't generate much and they generate five spores and the five spores they go over here the spores are then getting here and then that's where it gets interesting see calcium carbonate calcium carbonate how about that where did you get that there's only one way in the game to get calcium carbonate so let's take bring it along get it in here and you will now see that it's working the other one the perchloric acid is a pain in the ass 
but that's where I've saved a trip up here for this area. This is an awful amount of spaghetti. However, it is not as inefficient as it, as it seems. Basically what happens here, we're gonna walk through this one because this is a supporting process that helps the rest. We start with some saline water. That's easy to come by, so use it. It goes in here, becomes split into three items. Oh, did I fuck it up? I think I did. I think I did. I'll just add this one. And a flare stack. Uh, not just flaring it, but actually only flaring it if it is above here. And now it's working again. So this one, the saline water is comes in and becomes three different things. It becomes sodium hydroxide that gets put in here and gets picked up and put into this barrel. It also becomes hydrogen chloride, or it actually goes out. This is this is one of the tricks that you have to be really careful about. This one generates four plus six, but this one uses five plus five. So it's not gonna add up. You will always have too much hydrogen. Therefore, you need this link out here where you take the excess hydrogen when it goes above 80% full it goes into uh, into the flare stack and gets burned off. You see that it burns off, there you go. And that means it doesn't jam. Now this just goes in here and becomes hydrogen chloride because we're gonna need hydrogen chloride. Also the hydrogen sodium hydroxide is something we're gonna need. We're actually gonna need it down here, but there's a bit of an issue because all of it is being consumed for something else. That's something we're gonna have to look at. I'm gonna have to speed this up or actually produce a hell of a lot more of it. Now in any case, we um, we are now going to the next step because remember, the part we need at the end is this perchloric acid. That is an expensive, complicated compound. So let's trace it back. Uh, this is where I barrel it. This is where I make perchloric acid. Perchloric acid comes from sodium perchlorate and hydrochloric acid. Okay, <laughs> so we start with the hydrochloric acid because that's the easiest one. That basically just says, I get the hydrogen, hydrogen chloride gas. Well, that's the one we created over here. So let's just bring it in and get it up here. Plus some water, we dilute it and make it into an acid. Excellent, that's good. So that means this is the other part of the salt water that we didn't use to make the sodium hydroxide, but we used the hydrogen chloride gas. Excellent. Now, the hydrogen chloride gas is also, oh, here we start again from here. We also need some sodium perchlorate. Sodium per perchlorate is something you make here. You make it, there we go, made one. Uh, you take five sodium chloride and that gets five sodium perchlorate. No, you get one sodium perchlorate out of this. Wow, this is bad. No, it makes five. Uh, so five to five, this uses the blue, uh, the blue catalyst, so that's a bit of an issue, but again, this requires sodium chloride. All right, step one back. That requires the sodium hydroxide. So you're kind of using it already here back in the process and together with the hydrogen chloride. So you basically see that anything, this is broken down into sodium hydroxide, hydrogen and chloride. Hydrogen chloride is combined back to hydrogen chloride gas that becomes a hydrochloric acid and it becomes the sodium chloride that becomes the sodium, per, sodium perchlorate. That means five of them basically. And that is then into sodium or perchloric acid. Why is there not a residual from this? If you know, it, where does the sodium go? I don't know. But anyway, we have, uh, we now have a lot of, of, of this compound as well, and we will get down here. I will also steal some more of, of this. And now we can continue this process. So you can see that that up there is very advanced uh, mechanics. And here we are. Now we are able to make this. This is where we make alien bacteria. We get one alien bacteria for each 10 alien spores, one calcium carbonate and five perchloric acids. So it's actually using quite a lot of this acid and it should probably scale up. Now the end result is that I have some alien spores. Now alien spores in and of themselves are not sufficiently interesting to what I need. 
the alien spores will then be combined with a substrate dish and the substrate dish we trace it backwards the substrate dish comes from a three petri dishes put together i suppose silver paste and cellulose paste well cellulose paste we remember that that's the one we created from the green uh yeah the green coming from the mineralized or the wood now let's dive back so that's pretty easy to come by then we have the petri dish comes from glass easy that's just uh, quartz that's burned and iron paste iron paste again requires cellulose paste and then some silver ore it's not iron paste it's silver paste actually and then it goes in and gets my substrate disc now i have three pre-alien artifacts that will be created here so what i'm doing now is actually i'm taking these pre-alien artifacts making a nice little splitter this splits into seven and the reason i split it into seven is because there are seven here i did not bother with trying to find a balanced splitter because in any case i want more of these so basically it goes one fourth into these and one eighth into the other ones that makes kind of sense and this goes into a uh, quite a, a nice array let's just jump up to the very top here and then start to look, take a look at this is a, the first component is we need an iron paste for the next one we need a titanium paste and so on and so forth so every ore becomes a paste come in combined with cellulose paste and look at that more use of the cellulose paste so that's why it's so important the cellulose paste goes into from here into this one where we have our alien pre pre artifact we now we paste it together and then we get an alien pre artifact excellent an alien pre artifact i wonder what that does but that's actually an alien pre artifact just becomes five small and the five small can get combined when you have 25 into some alien artifacts so there you have it that's the whole process and you can see down here we have the purple the blue and this is uh, rutile or titanium this is cobalt this is zinc this is gold this is tungsten and this is copper all of them producing now the tricky part here is actually the gold is not the tricky part the tricky part is this one each of them that's not the top one so each of the lower six require a cut diamond so they are very expensive actually and you're going to need a hell of a lot of diamonds however this this is the only real way of getting this so if if you are playing peaceful you will have all the time in the world to get all the diamonds in the world because if you remember back in our refining we looked at how to turn all of these geodes into any kind of uh, of gem that you want it so that is uh as another source so what again we can see how uh, archangel has been very careful about how he created crafted the mod basically i'm very impressed when i when i sort of got into into the details uh, of this part where i'm basically using every single component of uh, of the cell and water and it's being used very efficiently to generate exactly what i need and the way that these different algae fit together the fact that this one makes lithium chloride that doesn't seem to be related but it actually enables us to use the thermal water for something better for which is the only way to make calcium carbonate so it, it fits just extremely well together and then it will be able to create as many and of and whichever way you want of the alien artifacts without uh, bashing the aliens so this is definitely something I'm going to set up myself and start working on in my own uh, base so I don't need to deal with aliens all the time. So that's really the recap. Let's uh, just very briefly summarize. There are four different types of algae. The green one is primarily going to cellulose paste. You can also get the cellulose fiber from wood, which I would recommend making into methanol gas. The brown has only the purpose of creating lithium chloride, which will enable you to use the, the thermal water for something else. The blue one creates ammonia gas. The red one requires the ammonia gas and it requires the thermal water. So that's enabled by these two. And that creates the calcium carbonate, which is used for the second half in order to create the rather complicated process of this one. The alien bacteria is the toughest one. The perchloric acid is a pain in the ass to get. And the calcium carbonate also requires some. So once you have that you'll be able to craft any one of these but remember they take a lot of cut diamonds and that's basically 
bioprocessing. This was a bit longer uh, tutorial than the other ones, but I think it was uh, worth it because it is actually rather complex, but once figured out, it fits very well together. So I hope this was useful and I hope the bioprocessing mod becomes less daunting for you. Uh, it has actually certainly become less daunting for me as I've been uh, crafting or creating this space for the tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and a comment below. And I hope to see you in a future tutorial. Thank you. Bye.